President-elect Basiru Diomayefaye was inaugurated at the country's National Conference Center in Diamniadio on Tuesday, the same day outgoing President Macky Sall's mandate ends. The inauguration completed the previously little-known opposition figures rise from prison to the palace. Faye was released from prison less than two weeks before the March election following a political amnesty announced by Sal. Basiru Diomaye Faye has never held elected office as he prepares to take the helm of a nation struggling with a faltering economy. For more insight, viewers Bon Diho spoke with Mundia Paul Hakola, a political analyst based in Lusaka, Zambia. It's a very good thing uh, to see that uh, uh, we are going to have uh, we are having actually an inauguration of the new president uh, of, uh, of Senegal. Uh, actually, uh, this just gives us uh, uh, hope as a young people to say it's, it's possible for us to be able to do this. And uh, every other leader in Africa that is outgoing should be able to be magnanimous enough to be able to transfer power. What is happening right now is historical. And uh, uh, as you see it to be historical, uh, it's because of the efforts also has, that has been put by the, the, the other leader. Because if there were no such efforts, such transfer would not have happened. So to us, uh, uh, we, we also uh, call upon the regional uh, leaders uh, in, the, in the region within the AU to be able to encourage such kind of acts so that we are going to have a more stable Africa. There are a lot of uh, uh, young people in Africa uh, who are probably watching this inauguration and they say no condition is permanent. Uh, for those people who are in the trenches, especially young people who are rising up yeah, in the ranks of their political parties, trying to fight uh, these uh, long-time leaders, there is hope at the end of the day. When you see what's happening in Senegal today, what would you tell those young people? The journey of a thousand miles beginning with the step. They need to be participating. They need to be in structures. They need to be in uh, activism groups. They need to start doing something. Because you don't just become. He didn't just become and became president overnight. He had to go through a number of processes. And uh, uh, what I would encourage young people is that those processes, they make you stronger. They make you understand some of the things that you are able to do. I watched the video of uh, uh, the outgoing uh, Senegalese president, uh, Mr. Macky Sall, and uh, the incoming uh, president. I was overcome with emotion because this is a young man who has been treated unfairly, locked up on trumped up charges, and here he is for the first time in his life stepping foot in the state house. It says a lot, and maybe perhaps a lot of African leaders need to watch stuff like that and learn from it. Yeah, I think that's a good thing because uh, at the end of the day, what is important is that when you, are, you, you lose an election, you realize that uh, uh, it's bigger than you and there has to be peaceful transfer of power. And uh, uh, having considered defeat, we give kudos uh, to the outgoing president because in Africa, we have seen uh, people uh, giving wrong advice to say, why did you give up power? So the fact that he had to actually leave the office and hand over, uh, to willing to hand over the power, we are of the view that that is very important and uh, it needs to continue and people need to give kudos for leaders who are able to actually uh, ceremoniously uh, transfer power. Despite whatever happened, the most important end part is that power is going to be transferred and the, there is no resistance to give up power. That is key. Mundia Paul Hakola is a political analyst based in Lusaka, Zambia.